Hey there, Victor here. So there was a time when I wanted to make a digital course, but there was one problem. I did not know what exactly to make the course about. I was really, really stuck. Long story short, I, I went through Amy Porterfield's digital, digital course academy and things kind of solved from there. Um, so as a result, I wanna share with you today my six tips that will make your life easier if you're also in the process of thinking of creating a course, but you don't really know about what. What's a good, what's a good topic for an online course? Um, but before I go into the tips, I want to share with you something. Amy Porterfield is hosting a free live masterclass really soon. Uh, it's called the three behind the scenes secrets to digital, digital course success. It's a masterclass that talks about how to create digital courses and how to basically sell them. Uh, so if you're thinking of creating a digital course, I highly recommend this masterclass. You'll find it really valuable. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. So the tip number one, consider your results. Now this was something really that changed my life. This is something that came actually from Digital Course Academy. And um, I always thought that you need to be an expert in something uh, to make a course about it. Like be, have like a university degree and you know, many, many years of work experience. I'm a perfectionist. So I had this idea and I thought that it's the truth. Although I always say that opinions are not the truth. So I had this opinion that you need to be an expert and to be an expert, you need to have super, you know, a lot of experience. Well, Amy Porterfield put it like this, as long as you have done something in your life that has gotten you great results, or you have helped somebody else do something that has gotten them great results, you can make a course about that. And I was like, ah, that makes so much sense. It turned my mind just 180 degrees around, you know, considering this thing. So basically, if you, for example, know how to play guitar, can't you teach that? Or if you've helped somebody else learn how to play guitar or learn a new language, can't you teach that? When was the last time you felt really proud about yourself because you did something, you had great results and you were like, damn, I'm good. So consider these things. These are the first things that you should really look at if you're thinking of creating a digital course. Now, the second uh, tip is to write things down. And this may seem very simple, but this is actually what eventually helped me choose my course idea. Um, for a long time, uh, I also thought, like I just mentioned that I thought that, you know, me creating a digital course is crazy. Like I don't have anything that anybody can ever pay me for. Nobody's going to listen to me. I'm not an expert. So then I learned that you should just write things down, what you enjoy doing, what you've done in life that you enjoyed and not to analyze anything, just write things down. So I wrote a couple of things, well, a couple of more like 15 and I was like, Hey, I've enjoyed this and this and this and this. I've enjoyed computers my whole life. I've been digging with playing around and digging around computers my whole life. I'm actually pretty good at it. I'm, I'm pretty good at, at computers. I, I also was a software developer at work. Like I never thought about it this, this way. Um, because I enjoy something, I spend a lot of time doing it. And because I spend a lot of time doing it, I become really good at it. So I can make a course around that. So writing things down may sound very simple but it's highly effective. This is eventually what helped me choose my course idea. Uh, tip number three is ask your friends. You know how they say uh, asking, uh, talking to friends is good in all circumstances, and this is not an exception. Uh, ask your friend, hey, Tom, for example, uh, what, what would you come to me for help or advice with? What, what do you think I'm good at? Or what do you think I, I do better than others? Just these very simple questions because sometimes people see things better from the side. Tip number four, look at what you're currently doing. And these are, th this is also a really simple thing that people kind of, um, they don't really notice because some things that are you know right in front of our nose, they, they just, they're just, they, they seem, it seems like you know they're not there. Basically, for example, if you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can turn that into, if you're already doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can turn that into an online course. If you're, um, if you're a carpenter, I don't know, a musician, a software developer like I was, can't you make a course around that? There's so many options. Look at the things you're already doing because the bottom line is that, hey, if you've decided that you wanna go online and do digital course business, that's really cool. But it doesn't mean that you should, should abandon your whole, you know, something you've done for your whole life, your career, 10 years of experience. You can make a course around that. People are um, 
people do I don't know work with Photoshop they work actually at a job doing with you know a lot of, doing a lot of work with Photoshop and they can they often make courses around that software developers make courses around their favorite coding language um, it's really up to you but look at the things that you're already currently doing um, number five tip is please research the internet before you make you decide to make your digital course um, because I mean, everything that you do online, you need to research first because you want to see if there's demand for that thing. So, for example, if you're a dog lover, you've always had dogs, you know how to clip dogs' nails, you know what food they need, you know when they're sick and so on. You really understand dogs and you want to make a course around that. Research what kind of course should you make. I, I'm more, you know, go into Google and look for dog courses. Are they more general? Are they more specific? Are they about a certain breed? Are they about all dogs in general? You'll understand these things as you research. Also go to websites like Udemy, which are websites that have a lot, a lot of online courses. Look at the existing dog courses there. Or go to forums like Reddit. Check out people. Because there's a lot of stuff on Reddit and people talk about online courses there as well. And you may find some really valuable information. So do a lot of research before you create your digital course. And then the last but not least tip today is please validate your course idea. So just because you think that you have this great idea, don't start making the course because like I just mentioned with the dog example, dogs are very general. You can make it more specific, more general. You can make it about a breed. You can make it about all dogs and so on, about small dogs, big dogs, you name it. So validate your course idea. And how do you validate course idea? Find people that... Uh, Find people that um, you think would be interested in your course topic, preferably like that. Don't just find people that don't, like don't care about the subject of your course. Um, find people that would enjoy your course, you think would enjoy your course. Give them questionnaires, ask them, interview them, get in my, as much information as possible from them. Not only you'll understand that people will want to buy your course, but um, yeah, mind blank. People, you'll understand that people will want to buy your course. Um, because as Amy Porterfield, Amy Porterfield puts it, the last thing you want to do is create a digital course and then have nobody buy it because you made a course around a specific topic that really pretty much only you care about. So please validate, it's a very important part. Uh, the more time you spend validating, the more sure you can be that your course will be a success. So these were the six tips for today. Hope you found them useful. If you have any questions, just drop them down below. Questions about digital course creation or blogging, which is something I also love to do. Um, so yeah, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.